In this video, we will learn about subtotal function in Excel. You might think it to be somewhat like sum of selected values. But the subtotal function is capable of much more. Apart from its ability to return a sum, it can also give us average, count, max and several other results. But today, we will specifically focus on count A and understand this function with few examples in this video. So stay tuned. Hi, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel learn in 5 minutes. So let's start. The subtotal function itself has 11 functions within it. This function always ignores values removed by auto filter. What we see here is that there are two sets of the same function numbers available. But one set includes hidden cell values while the other set excludes hidden cell values. We will learn more about this in a while. Before we proceed further, let us understand that there are two very similar functions in Excel. That is count and count A. The difference between them is that count only counts cells containing numbers. But count A counts all cells that are not empty. So let us start with the count A within the subtotal function. So our function goes like equal to subtotal open parenthesis 3 which stands for count A, comma, our amount range which is B2 till B15. We'll just freeze this range so when we copy this cell our range doesn't get disturbed. Close parenthesis and we got the result. Now the question is how subtotal count A function is different from regular count A function. To understand this let us get count of the same range with regular count A function here. Equal to count A open parenthesis b2 till b15 close parenthesis and our result is same with both the functions. Now let us apply filter on our amount range and get only the rows which has amount greater than 6000. As we can see that the result we got with the subtotal function changed when we filtered our range and now this function is giving us count of the remaining cells in the range whereas the result we got from the regular count A function has not changed. There is no effect on the result whether the range is filtered or not. So this is the basic difference between regular and subtotal count A function. In the subtotal function itself, there are two count A functions, one with code 3 and another with code 103. We have already seen the count A function with code 3. Now let us see how this function is different from the other. Let us first use this function on the same range. We will just copy paste our formula and change the code from 3 to 103 and our result is same. Now let us remove the filter from our range. We can see that the result of both the counts with code 3 and code 103 are still same. Now let us hide few rows from the range and now we can see that there is a mismatch in the result. What happens here is that the count A function with code 3 includes the hidden rows whereas the function with code 103 excludes them when counting. Now before we conclude the video, let us sum up what we saw right now in nutshell. Regular count a function counts the given range of cells irrespective of whether the range has hidden cells or the range is filtered. But the count a functions in subtotal counts the given range of cells and both changes dynamically when the range is filtered. But when the range is not filtered, both these functions behave differently if the range has few hidden rows. The count a function with code 3 includes the hidden rows when counting, but the function with code 103 excludes them. In case if you have any query on this, do write it in the comment box below and I will try to answer them. So that's all in this if video. If you found this video useful, please like and share with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it right now and press the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.